The great planetary family counts with more than 3 billion 800 million women, and each one of them is beautiful and unique. Yet some of them seem to be extremely particular. Incredible is the only word to describe them, and for good reason. Some have been endowed with extraordinary abilities by nature, while others have changed their appearance as a result of unrealistic ideals of beauty. These incredible women have the ability to combine strength and femininity, to generate life or to cope with various gender-related handicaps. With them, the extraordinary becomes ordinary and they have become exceptional and inspiring role models around the world. Today we will discover 10 very amazing women who are in the Guinness Book of World Records. If nowadays several tests allow to determine the degree of fertility in women, the concept of hyperfertility is still without medical foundation. Mariam Nabatanzi is a Ugandan woman who embodies one of the best examples of hyperfertility. But while in some Ugandan cultures a woman's status and self-esteem are based on her fertility, Mariam's case is exceptional. The fertility rate is high in Uganda, with an average of six children per household, yet Mariam's performance is cause for celebration. She suffers from hyperfertility, an ability to get pregnant very quickly, despite the use of contraceptives. At the age of 39, she is already the mother of 44 children. Yes, 44. The Daily Mirror called her the most fertile woman in the world. Mariam has not had an easy journey, far from it. In her interview with Reuters, she confides in her painful life journey. She says she has never been happy since she was born. When she was only 12 years old, she was forced into a forced marriage with a 40-year-old man. A year later, she gave birth to her first child. In the meantime, she had triplets three times, quadruplets four times, and twins six times. And they all have the same father. Father who finally decided to leave them and abandon Mariam. Today, in addition to taking care of her numerous offspring, Mariam multiplies small jobs to earn enough money to feed them. The older children have also dropped out of school to meet the needs of the family. Because Mariam has to manage everything on her own. Let's wish Mariam good luck and a better end to her life than she started. Harnam Kaur, a young English woman suffering from polycystic ovary syndrome, a hormonal imbalance that is accompanied by significant hair growth, particularly on the face. Harnam Kaur was only 11 years old when long hair began to grow on her face, torso, chest, legs and arms. After many difficult years marked by harassment and suicidal thoughts, against all odds, she decided to accept herself as she is. Thanks to a salutary awareness, her beard has instead become a source of strength and confidence. She became a bearded woman and was baptized a Sikh. Beyond our differences in terms of physical appearance and culture, the soil is fertile for growing collaboration around shared values of human dignity. So, at the age of 24, the bearded lady, already has much to teach her neighbor about self-love, personal power and defining who she is. Her wedding dress accentuates the visibility of her message and reinforces its reach. Harnam Kaur is widely admired on social networks. Whether it is discreet or covers a whole part of the body, tattooing has become trendy and takes on a more aesthetic dimension. The amateurs of body decorations are then more and more numerous. In exceptional cases, as incredible as it may seem, tattooed people push their body transmutation to the extreme, the point of marking almost their entire body with indelible ink. The best illustration of this is the case of an American couple where love rhymes with tattoo, Charlotte Gutenberg and Chuck Helmke form the most inked couple in the world in the senior category. It is not surprising that the two lovebirds met in a tattoo parlor. The designs and the number of tattoos decorating their skins earned them a mention in the Guinness Book of Records. The 67-year-old lady has 91.5% of her body covered with tattoos. As for her companion, he has drawings on 93.75% of his body surface. And as long as the tattoo does not yet dress their body like a second skin, their project continues. Their names are Katiusha Lai Hoshino and Paulo Gabriel da Silva Bajos, two young Brazilians aged 32 and 35 respectively. And their exceptional mini size is far from ideal for them to find the right shoe for their feet. Yet their idol was born on the web in 2006. After four years of friendly exchanges on the dating site Orkut, the two little lovebirds decided to meet each other. 
To join Paolo, little Katyusha left Londrina, her hometown, for the town of Itapeva. A beautiful love story begins between them. They form a charming couple, but with the peculiarity that they measure, between the two of them, 1 meter 81. The couple's union has earned them a place in the Guinness Book of Records as the world's smallest couple. This official designation was an opportunity for Paolo and Katyusha to convey a strong message of love and tolerance. Zelata, a contortionist of Russian origin, is known as the most flexible woman in the world. Her real name Julia Genthal, Zelata is endowed with an astonishing flexibility. She discovered her ability to contort at the age of four, and has been training every day since. In a TV show supervised by Guinness World Record inspectors, Zelata revealed the extent of his hidden talents. Through a series of incredible actions, mixing charm and contortion, this pretty blonde managed to captivate everyone. Among her performances, she was able to burst three balloons in 12 seconds by bending on her back. And although she is 1.75 meters tall, her exceptional tendon elasticity also allowed her to fit easily into a 50 centimeter long box. Her exploits on this television set have made her the most flexible person in the world. Asha Mandela, 56-year-old American, is passionate about her hair. She has the distinction of having the longest dreadlocks in the world. In 2009, she received the coveted Guinness World Records title. At the time, her hair was only 6 meters long. Today, at over 33 meters long, her dreadlocks are truly impressive. Asha speaks of a call from the spirit world to grow her hair. According to her, the subtle visions she had still palpitate in her life and still live on through her long dreadlocks. At a special makeover session held for her in the UK, she said her hair weighed between 11 and 13 kilos when dry and took up so much space that she had to carry it in a bag. Fortunately, her third husband, who she met on the internet and who is also an Afro hair specialist, takes good care of her long hair. Little Becky Barrett, 32, from Reading, is the strongest woman in Great Britain. She can lift more than twice her own weight and has been demonstrating her incredible muscular abilities for over two years. Something she got from her companion Adam. Incredibly, weightlifter Becky can pull her car with her daughter Kayla and her companion Adam inside. Among her feats of strength, she can carry her 84-kilogram boyfriend, 34-year-old Adam Hales. And during her weekly shopping spree, Becky single-handedly carries, in addition to all the bags, her granddaughter Kayla with amazing ease. She is also the only mother weightlifter to compete in the finals of the British Strongwoman Championship in the under 63 kilos category. Amy Mullins is an American athlete's hand sport, actress and model, born July 20, 1975 in Allentown, Pennsylvania, USA. She was born without a fibula and was amputated below the knees at the age of one year. But never mind, she managed to turn her handicap into an asset in her success story. Before turning to film and television, she participated in the 1996 Paralympic Games in Atlanta. And just before that, during her university studies, she competed with healthy athletes and won several of them. Mullins is one of the few models to parade with prostheses. Since 2010, she has also been the L'Oreal face for a range of makeup products. According to People magazine, this young woman is one of the 50 most beautiful people on the planet. Despite her disability, she has achieved great success and often gives motivational lectures all over the world. Amy Mullins is married to British actor Rupert Friend. The couple joined forces after three years of unclouded love. Very discreetly, both had announced their engagement at a charity event. In its extreme form, the feeling of jealousy can sometimes be so embarrassing that the real meaning of pure love can be questioned. With its dose of silent suffering, amorous jealousy is a feeling that parasites the long, quiet river that should be the couple's life. Debbie Wood is known to be the most jealous woman in the world. She was horribly jealous of her husband, not in the way of the woman who believes she has been betrayed, but in the way of the woman who fears she never will be. This British woman in her 40s is suffering from a very rare disease, Othello syndrome. Her pathology translates into an almost uncontrollable sickly jealousy. Few men in the world would accept this type of profile, yet Debbie has married her soulmate, Steve Wood. The unusual story of this couple has indeed quickly made its way around the world. Through a mutual friend, the two lovebirds met on Facebook and since then they have been living the perfect love. 
After being disappointed by her previous relationships, Debbie was so heartbroken that she promised herself she would never be hurt by a man again. That's why Debbie has no confidence in her husband and uses every trick in the book to control her life. Every time he leaves the marital home Steve has to take a lie detector test. She also scans his calls, his computer and his phone. Monica Riley, an American woman in her 20s. Morbidly obese, she already weighs more than 300 kilos and can no longer even stand up on her bed, let alone walk alone. But against all expectations, the former supermodel hopes to go even further, as she wants to reach the insane figure of 444 kg. Her goal is to become the world's fattest woman. To top it all off, her husband, Sid Riley, is actively helping her to get her fatter to the point of feeding her to a funnel. Monica Riley's gamble has, however, provoked strong negative reactions on the internet. Due to two pregnancies that ended in a miscarriage, Monica Riley has fortunately since changed her mind. Obesity and pregnancy don't mix. They were the 10 most amazing wives in the world. Which one of those wives surprised you the most? Tell us in the comments.